It has been nine years since the death of a five-year-old Winnipeg girl, and tonight the family of Phoenix Sinclair finally know the full extent of what led to her death. An exhaustive $14 million inquiry has determined the province's child welfare system failed her, and she is not alone. The report says there are far too many Aboriginal children in care across Canada who aren't getting the help they need. Lauren McNabb is in Winnipeg now with more on this. Lauren? Donna, in the commissioner's words, Phoenix Sinclair was left defenseless against the cruelty of her mother and the sadistic violence of her stepfather, failed by a system that was warned about safety concerns at least 13 times, and almost every time the inquiry found that files were open and shut, sometimes without caseworkers ever laying eyes on Phoenix. The child welfare system failed Phoenix Sinclair. We deeply regret and are profoundly saddened by the loss of this child. While the inquiry noted excessive workloads and a lack of training within Winnipeg's child and family services may have contributed to her death, Commissioner Ted Hughes also found deficiencies in the delivery of services to Phoenix did not result from a lack of understanding of policies, but a lack of compliance with existing policies and best practice, that there was a fundamental misunderstanding of their role to protect children. The five-year-old was repeatedly abused by her mom and stepfather and left to die on a cold basement floor in 2005. She was buried near a landfill on a remote First Nation community, a murder that went undetected for months. The mom and stepdad were sentenced to life in prison, but no one within Child and Family Services has ever been fired or even disciplined and won't be. I absolutely think that someone should be fired. I think that more charges should be laid, but it's about the inquiry. And Phoenix's godmother says she finds hope in the 62 recommendations made in the report, 20 of which the Manitoba government is already implementing. One of its key findings, this isn't just a Manitoba issue, that there are a disproportionate amount of Aboriginal children in care right across this country. Donna. All right, Lorraine McNabb in Winnipeg, thank you.